Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey? Let me show you how. Welcome to Moonshine How To, and my name's Justin. Let's get right into it. Download recipe at the blog. I'm not gonna show you. You have to go get it. So today, we wanna make our very own Fireball Whiskey because we get to con control our own ingredients. So we have our Jack Daniels 750 milliliter bottle. We have our organic cinnamon sticks, our apple juice concentrate, and our dehydrated pepper. We like to use dehydrated peppers because fresh peppers end up getting mushy and you have to take them out three to five days into the process. We also like to use UV jars because it lets no sunlight in, which is good because you want to store these when you're done in a dark, dry, and cool place. So now that we've told you all of our supplies and our ingredients, let's get started. So before you start putting anything in your jars, you want to always wash them out. We pre-wash this with our veggie wash, which we'll leave a link down below in the description, and hot water. So first we're going to start by pouring our Jack Daniels into our jars. So you can substitute any kind of whiskey that you would prefer we chose Jack Daniels because it's a family favorite and we enjoy it here. So we're just going to start by pouring our entire bottle. So next what you wanna do is you want to take your dried peppers or if you would prefer to use crushed pepper flakes. So we're going to get our dried peppers and our organic cinnamon sticks and we're just going to put them in there. And then you're done. You wanna shake this once a day for a week, depending on how hot you want it. So you wanna let this sit for about a week. That gives the peppers and the cinnamon time to infuse into the whiskey, giving you that hot and a little bit of sweet flavor. That's where your apple juice concentrate comes into play. Your apple juice concentrate gives it a little more sweeter flavor, and then you end up getting the same flavor as regular fireball whiskey. We prefer this method, like I said, because we get to control our ingredients. We know what's going in our whiskey. So now that it's done, we've added our cinnamon, we've added our peppers. We're gonna put our lid on. Be sure you always label. We're going to give it a good shake and then we'll be back in a week to add our apple juice concentrate. And we're back. I know it hasn't been a week, but this one has been sitting for the last seven days, so it's time to add our apple juice concentrate. You can get your apple juice concentrate at any local supermarket it'll be in the frozen drink section whatever kind you prefer it's all your preference so you're going to pour your apple juice concentrate into your half gallon jar and then we prefer to let ours sit for another four days roughly to let the apple juice concentrate infuse with our cinnamon sticks and pepper and then we'll take them out or you can take your cinnamon sticks and pepper out before you add the concentrate that's also your preference so now that you've added your apple juice concentrate, you wanna put your lid on again, and then you wanna give it a good shake, and then store, like I said, in a dark, dry, cool place. And there you have it, Fireball Whiskey. You made it your own, four easy steps. Go do it now. Go to the blog, get the recipe, make your own. You control it. We'll see you next time on Moonshine How To. We thank you for being here for coming back every video we upload. So as you're sitting there right now, go over here, watch the pineapple moonshine recipe. Go get that recipe. We're just going to keep giving you more recipes so that you can build your very own summer, winter, fall, spring drink list. We'll see you next time.